Hello, hello. It's Wellness Wednesday. I'm trying to organize everything here. Okay, it's Wellness Wednesday. Where is everybody? Hello, hello. Come in, come in. Well, I'm going to get started because I know later on people will be probably looking at this um, via recording. So today we're going to be seeing the results of the experiment that I started a month ago. So if you recalled or if you don't recall if this is your first time on or you were not on a month ago, a month ago I decided to do an experiment where I bought, I purchased a McDonald's Happy Meal and I wanted to see what would happen over time with the Happy Meal and um, based for my experiment I actually used the control of a banana which I figured would eventually break down because we know that um, you know it's a real whole live food that contains its own enzymes and we expect it to break down quicker than something that is processed. So anyway it has been about a month and I wanted to show you the results. We're not going to be that long today because my, my morning clinic ran over somewhat so um, I'm just getting I'm just getting to doing this and it's actually time for me to start my afternoon session so anyway I want to go on and show you the results so I actually labeled the top of it was done on October 5th of 2016 and I actually also have the I have the um, this is actually the receipt that I bought so I put it on here because you probably can't see what it where it is on the receipt but just to prove in the future that this is the the meal that I bought on October 5th so we're going to start off by looking at the banana because I had a banana and then a bag of apples that came in the Happy Meal. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, the banana is it's breaking down. There's liquid in the bottom. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is an airtight um, container, so it probably broke down. You know, you don't you'll never see a banana that will actually last a month like this but it is still breaking down and I don't know if you can really get the feel for it it's you know it's got an odd color to it now and then the apple the bag of apples that I put in from the Happy Meal as you can see it's it has expanded there's some gas in there it's expanded and um, but the apples themselves they still kind of look the same they mm, they look like they may be trying to break down but they haven't totally disintegrated as you might think would happen in a month but they still have the same basic color so that's kind of interesting this is an apple that's been sitting here for a month and it still has its same basic color and then this is our banana here and um and you really can't see but it's just the skin is just breaking down and I think that's why where the the moisture is coming from down here is the banana is actually breaking down so this is what we would kind of expect uh, you know our foods to do they're gonna break down over time even in this airtight container so this is a month for our apple and our banana now let's see what our hamburger and our french fries look like because if this is starting to break down you would expect that the bread is going to be maybe moldy and, and the french fries are going to look kind of crazy so let's see what you guys think so this is our hamburger and french fries as you can see it the hamburger it looks the exact same way and the french fries may have changed color they look stale they i they do look stale but they're not really breaking down so you can see that this is the french fries and the hamburger a month later see you can see that kind of looks 
eerily normal, doesn't it? Okay. So this is an ongoing experiment. The experiment will continue. But the purpose of this experiment was to show you the effect of um, preservatives in, in foods. And I mean, we know that when things are in a box or, you know, in a can that they have a certain amount of preservatives, we don't really think about something that we may eat like hamburger and french fries that seem like more you know, they're fast foods, but they're more natural foods. It's like, you know, it's bread and meat and potatoes. Um, but as you can see, these aren't really breaking down that much. So we're going to continue with our experiment. Um, I'll be back in another month because this started October 5th. Today is November, what, 2nd. So it's not a full month. And then in December, the first week in December, We'll come back and see. So once a month. So if you want to, even if you only want to know what's going on with this experiment, always come back the first Wednesday of the month and I will actually be showing this experiment and what's going on. So I hope that everybody, and um, I will say something else because I can't go through Halloween without mentioning, you know, now that um, you've had Halloween and the kids may have gotten some extra sweet treats. Don't be surprised if there's some tummy aches, some constipation, maybe diarrhea, um, even colds because uh, sugar actually has a deleterious effect on the immune system. So uh, you may actually see your kids come down with a cold or a fever or something um, right around this time of the year and a part of it is because of you know maybe if they overdid it at Halloween and even you yourself if you overdid it and you tried to eat all of your child's candy so that your child wouldn't eat the candy you may be the one getting sick or have a stomach ache so um, you know don't be shocked by that if it does happen you want to make sure that they're doing probiotics drinking plenty of water and you know to try to get them back on you know the healthy eating that they were hopefully doing before and so with that I see someone has joined me I don't know who it is but you just missed the experiment but you can go back and look and you'll be able to see the experiment so I'm going to sign off for now and get back to my afternoon patience but I hope that everyone has a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you next week and next week I will be back out walking so I will see you next week from the walking trail bye bye